Hello lovelies, it's Lex and I have another speed build for you. So this is one of the builds where I came up with what I wanted to name the build before I actually built it. So I already had the idea for the name of this build. Actually, while I was driving around drinking my Starbucks as I like to do because I like to be alone. So while I was doing that, I was like, oh, I should do a starter house. Hmm, what's a cute name for a starter house? And I was like, build me up, buttercup. So that ended up being the name of this build. So I knew that I was gonna do a small, cute little starter house and that I wanted it to be yellow. So most of it is yellow. The uh, two bedrooms end up being like a green sagey color instead, but the outside and the uh, a whole main living area besides a little bit in the kitchen all end up being yellow and I thought that it was super cute. So this is on a 20 by 20 lot I believe. It's one of the ones in Windenburg. Is that how you say it? I always forget. I always want to call it Windhelm and then I'm like no that's Skyrim. That's not Sims. Stop calling it that. But uh, yeah it's in one of those little neighborhoods because I love that they have the 20 by 20 lots in there because they're nice and small so it definitely saves you money when you're doing one of these starters. Uh, this starter house actually I think it's only like 16,000 simoleons so if you were to buy this you're still gonna have like four grand left over where you could update things or change things around or add in some more items if you wanted to but there is a really decent amount of uh, skill items in this house already. I really try to, uh, every time that I build a starter house, have a TV, computer, and bookshelf at least in there. But since I always end up putting in the cheapest furniture, I usually have a lot of money left over to add in a little bit of landscaping stuff and then some extra skill items. So this one ends up having the TV, bookshelf, computer, um, an art easel, and a grill. So there's, there's a decent amount of stuff in here. And it has a nicer bookshelf than I usually use in my starter houses which is always nice it has kind of my standard front porch back porch and then the uh, the layout is pretty open uh, that's another way that I like to save money when I'm doing starters is instead of just fully closing off things and having to spend the money on a doorway I just leave open spaces um, one of the reasons why this one came in a little bit cheaper is there isn't really a dining room or a dining area. I just have the two counter seats in the kitchen. But like I said, there is a lot of money that's gonna be left over if you purchase this house for your Sims. So you can very easily add on to the house or just extend the kitchen out a little bit to have a space for an actual dining table if you wanted to. But I don't know, I, I felt like this was should have been a smaller house. I didn't want it to be like a huge gigantic one, but I mean, it's a starter anyway, so it wasn't gonna be super big, but this is our kitchen. Like I said, it is a starter. It's one of my starters, so you know everything is the cheapest of the cheap, the most horrible of the horrible. So there's nothing crazy exciting furniture-wise, except that everything is yellow. Here's where our little computer area is. And opposite that is where I put the bookshelf. I know that it's one of the kids' bookshelves, but it's cute. And it was, well, I originally placed it as yellow, but then I changed it to white. Just, I don't know. I didn't like the yellow, that the shade of yellow that it was, was not pleasing to me. So I changed it. And then I like to use that kid's dresser all the time, even in adult rooms, because yeah, it's a little kitty looking, but it's not super kitty looking. And it's one of the cheapest dressers you can get. So it's another way that you can save some money if you are doing a starter house. But yeah, that's kind of it for this. I'm just going to do the art easel, the grill and a little seating area on the back. I ended up, uh, like I said, that we did have money left over. So in that extra bedroom, I have it set up as a kid's bedroom. It has a bassinet crib and a toddler's bed, but you could always swap that out for whatever you wanted. But, oh, and this room has, and this house has a chest table. I totally forgot about. So there's another skill item for you, but hopefully you guys enjoy this speed build. Thank you so much for watching. Hope everybody has a fantastic day. As always, please feel free to leave me suggestions in the comments below for any Sims builds you'd like to see, any questions you have about building, any other type of games you would like to see, because I don't only do Sims things on the channel and I will see everybody in the next video.